Hello everybody and welcome to today's video in which I will talk to you about perfume brand Fragranza and if you have never heard about it then definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos from which you can learn something and um, Fragranza is that brand that recreates popular niche and designer perfumes and I would like to know your opinion about these clone brands because you know it is pretty tricky to build an opinion about them because they have something good and bad to offer first of all obviously they recreate already successful and popular perfumes so on the one hand there is nothing original about them and they are just using someone else's ideas but on the other hand like they create perfumes for an amazingly affordable price and really great quality that are pretty close to the original fragrances that cost um, like 300 euros and their fragrances are like 60 euros so there is a certain difference in the price and I would say not in the quality and uh, then there is also that uh, they actually have original creations and I was very curious about them because my first ever experience with Fragranza brand was when they provided me with uh, their interpretation of my beloved fragrance Lyra because I'm writing by Xerzhov and they sent me their interpretation of it that is called Limone e Vanilla. By the way, definitely check out that video in which I tell you everything about the differences and similarities between these two perfumes. The link is going to be down below in the description box as well as the link to the official website of this brand. So what I can tell you, today I will talk to you about five perfumes from Fragranza. Two of them are original releases, three of them are fragrances that were inspired by other perfumes that we all know and as I wore all of them today to work I just got a better idea how they smell even though I've been playing with them for a while and um, what I've noticed about Limona e Vanilla is that it works like an aphrodisiac it literally makes me happy so so much and we all know that the scent of vanilla is very comforting and uh, inviting so the vanilla in here is not sweet and that is what's so special about it it is yummy it is delicious it is gourmand but it is not sweet it doesn't smell like sweets and i really like that high quality vanilla in there it has some citrusy twist but it is surely a gourmand perfume for men and women that want to smell irresistibly amazing if you want that effect that people will crave your attention and everybody will look at you and want to talk to you and just be around you that is definitely this fragrance it is very comforting satisfying easygoing and um vanillic it is for lovers of vanilla of high quality vanilla not too sweet vanilla so if you like something like that i definitely recommend you that perfume because i receive a lot of attention and compliments when i wear it but at the same time when my mom wears it she receives a lot of compliments from me and other people so that perfume is a compliment getter for sure and i really love it a lot and I want to move on to another inspirational fragrance that is called Rame Verde and this one is inspired by a pretty well-known fragrance from Armani that is called Vert Malachit but this one is definitely way more affordable and it smells so similar to that one when I first got it I didn't know what was the inspiration for it and the first thing that really stood out to me when I applied it for the very very first time was the prominent scent of jasmine and that was a very high quality jasmine jasmine as i like it to be i have a lot of problems with jasmine in modern design of fragrances because that jasmine doesn't smell of real jasmine whatsoever however jasmine in this perfume does smell of intense white floral jasmine flower so when i looked into the notes i noticed that there is not just any type of jasmine just jasmine sambac absolute so that's why it is so prominent intense and smells so pleasant 
but I actually really do love all the notes in these perfumes, which are orange and patty grain in the top, jasmine, sambac, absolute, and ylang ylang in the heart, benzoin, vanilla, and white lily in the bottom. So this perfume has a lot to offer because it has a lot of different elements. There is green element of patty grain in there, at the same time a lot of heady floral sea from ylang ylang and white floral aroma from lily and jasmine and sweetness that comes more from benzoin than vanilla and that jasmine benzoin combination reminds me of my favorite jasmine sambac and marigold but this fragrance is more interesting with a few more twists i would say so if you love the original one this is a pretty close uh, to it and uh, I do like it a lot, it is probably my most worn fragrance from Fragrenza. I just like how heady it is, how provoking it is. Uh, if you love jasmine you'll really enjoy it. And let's move on to another perfume that is their original release, it's called Rivelara and I've already spoken about it in that video about Lyra and Limone e Vanilla. But what I like about Rivelara is first of all how revolutionary it is because uh, for an original release from a clone brand, and I need to be honest, I thought that they are not creative enough to release something worth attention. However, that was the first proof that I was wrong because that is an interesting citrusy perfume. And in my opinion, to make a citrusy perfume very interesting, you really need to work hard on it because all citrusy perfumes smell sort of the same. And this one doesn't because it also has a few other layers, obviously herbal and minty layer, so everything goes well with those citruses that definitely smells like citruses in your cocktails with that spoon sugar um those are sweet citruses and they smell like a lot of fun like when you are having a lot of drinks maybe too many drinks uh, with your friends like cocktails with citruses maybe mojito maybe caipirinha something like that there is also a lot of mintiness in there and that mint reminds me of mint from the garden of my grandmother and I really enjoy that um, memory of mine that I think about when I smell this perfume. It also has a lot of freshness, maybe like something Mediterranean, maybe like a, a very soft uh, ocean breeze, something just very vacation-like and this perfume is very easygoing and literally cooling which is perfect for the hot weather so if i need to recommend you number one unisex perfume perfect for summer from this brand that would be rivelara i definitely recommend you to try it out if you like citruses and mint in the perfumery so we are moving on to my most favorite perfume from this brand which i'm very excited about because i don't have a fragrance quite like it and it is their original release it is called mondo di fantasia and what i like about this perfume so much is um, first of all how complex it is it is not a very easygoing or just simple fragrance whatsoever and to me it smells classy and vintage but at the same time modern it is vintage and classy because it has a lot of sensuality a lot of power but it is modern because it's quite versatile and sort of fresh even though i would describe it as a powdery skin of uh, an apricot or maybe peach i know that there is a lot of nectarine and um, apple blossom as well as uh, many other gorgeous notes so this perfume has some special powers first power is that it makes me feel beautiful second power is that it brings me a lot of attention and provides me with a confident feeling and we all know if we like ourselves other people enjoy our company too so this perfume is for those who prefer really well done round scents with a bit of powderiness fruitiness sensuality and depth it has just some some secret in there or something so yeah it's quite intriguing it's kind of tempting it is kind of teasing so maybe if you want something teasing something to attract someone something for a date occasion i would recommend mondo di fantasia because that is a truly fantastic fragrance and i find that it is really essential it will just attract your other half so with that being said let's move on to another clone or 
recreation of a popular fragrance this time from a designer brand that is called La Villa Belle by Lancome and if you are not new to my channel then you know that that is one of my most disliked perfumes and I was very surprised that they provided me with this perfume but I just decided to give it a chance and uh, first of all it is very similar to the original one and if I got it when I was um, 16, when I wore my flower bomb by Victor and Rolf, I would enjoy it because it is less glowing than the original one, even though they smell so similar, like the same floral fruity um, sweetness. And this one, it is less aggressive and that's what I like about it so much. It is cute, it is lovely, it is for those girls who really love sweet, floral, super intense fragrances and I would definitely recommend it to wear when it is a little bit colder, a little bit darker outside, maybe when you're going to some party and you want a very intense perfume that won't smell too exotic, um, something very commercial and common. So. I guess that's all. Those were my thoughts about Fragrenza fragrances and I would like to know what do you think about clone brands. If you have any experience with Fragrenza, definitely let me know your feedback in the comments and just comment what do you think about clone brands in general and if you have ever purchased from them or maybe you will after watching this video, let me know your thoughts because I love to hear from you and definitely turn on that bell so my videos will pop up in your subscription box because YouTube changed the rules and if you want to see my videos, definitely ring that bell, subscribe to my channel and uh, like it if you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to hear from you and stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys.